What's up everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today we are talking about Not A Drop To Drink by Mindy McGinnis. If you have watched this channel for any length of time, you will know that we do stand Mindy McGinnis in this house and that I am also a really big fan of post-apocalyptic survival stories. So Not A Drop To Drink is about a girl named Lynn. She lives in a world where basically most of the water became undrinkable. A lot of people died off. It's created, you know, like a very like apocalyptic kind of scenario but Lynn and her mother live like way out in the middle of nowhere. They have this pond, they're defending it, they're purifying their own water. And then, you know, it's just them kind of against the world. Something happens to Lynn's mother pretty early on. And then Lynn suddenly is faced with, how am I gonna do this on my own? And she meets a couple of different people throughout the story, which I wasn't necessarily expecting, but I think worked out really well because of how Lynn was written. And overall, this was a very good survival story. I will say like towards the end without spoiling anything, I do think it became a little bit too much. When it comes to survival stories for me, I really like it when it's like a small cast, like very alone, very isolated, and the plot really isn't much bigger than just how are we going to survive. A bigger plot got introduced and I wouldn't even say it's like the last third of the book. I would say like within the last couple of chapters it's introduced. I don't think that like Mindy McGinnis really needed to go that far. But then again, it is a Mindy McGinnis book, so she does like to get a little bit heavy when it comes to her characters. But I did really enjoy this book. It reminds me a lot of The Last of Us. I feel like especially the way the book ends, it creates a very like The Last of Us type of dynamic, which was really fun. And it is, you know, in Mindy McGinnis's signature style, like really looking at humanity and caring for people. And like, it's very much within Lynn's own mind, how she she thinks about things, how she was brought up versus these new people that she meets. And she has to decide, you know, does she want to keep living the way she was living? Or maybe is there something else out there for her? If you're not a fan of Minnie McGinnis, um, it's not one of her best books, but it is still good. Um, but if you don't like her, you probably won't like this book. Um, and it is very survival heavy. But like I said, it wasn't quite survival the way I like survival. So I am giving this book a B minus. I think that it was still really good. I still really liked it. I'm glad that I read it, but because of the way it ended, it does have another novel that just kind of like checks back in with these characters, like what's going on with them a little bit later. I'm not super interested in that, but I have a feeling it's like very Last of Us 2 in that book. So like maybe it's gonna stay on my radar, but like I'm not like rushing to it or anything like that. I would still say when it comes to Minnie McGinnis, like she has that other book that I read and I reviewed it on the channel and the name is escaping me, but it's this girl alone in the woods the entire time. I thought that's what this was gonna be a little bit more like and it is to a point, it's just not quite there. So I'm giving it a B minus. I would recommend giving it a shot if you're a fan of this genre. And I'm excited to keep digging into Mindy McGinnis's catalog because it's just, it's always a fun time. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Talk Books With Me every week. That is everything I got for today, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.